Hey friends, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna do a walkthrough of setting up WeGlow for a website translator. Now, I've actually never done this before, but I'm gonna walk you through the process with my Squarespace website and get you set up. I've built a lot of Squarespace websites, so I just haven't done this before, and we're gonna walk through it now. What I wanna do is translate parts of my site with SEO in mind, and make sure that the optimization is like keen, it's right on uh, for the languages I wanna hit. And there are a few I wanna hit, and I'm just gonna show you kind of how I think about this, how I do this and just go through it. So uh, let's just start with getting into an account. So first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna, perfect, okay. Perfect, so creating an account. All right, head over to verify. So I just gotta do this really quick. All right, so we have confirmed email, project name. This is gonna be launch happy. Uh, website, Squarespace, perfect. Next, I'm gonna show you how I think about this. Now, I have a lot of traffic come to my site already and I already, I also know the major sites that are searching or major countries that are searching for Squarespace. And so I'm gonna optimize around that. As you can see, without translation, top four language countries here are English, which is great. Different kinds of English, but all English. Then we have German, and then we have India, and then we have Philippines, Spain for like Spanish, and then French. Uh, now, let me do, this is last 30 days, let me do year to date. That's a lot of data. I could probably even do the last 12 months. But again, it's pretty close, except Germany jumped up a lot. So German would be a big one. Indian could be one. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, France, definitely. Maybe Spanish, that could be an option. Yeah, these other ones, the numbers are pretty low. So I'm just gonna really focus in on the other, some key ones, German. You know what, the other thing worth keeping in mind too, because I, I'm targeting Squarespace, right? So Squarespace translate. Okay, so something I know with Squarespace is that they actually, because I, I support people who are designing on Squarespace, English, French, German, Italian, Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese, and Spanish are the languages you could actually get your account in. So for example, uh, in Egypt, if I was building a website and it was in Arabic, well, the back end wouldn't be in Arabic, so I'd have to know English. But in this case, I could get the back end in French, German, Italian. So these are languages I'd probably be looking at. Now, WeGlow is based on pricing of what you translate, so it's not just do as much as you can. But for sure, I know German is one of those. I could try French and Italian. These others are kind of, I don't know if I'll do them all. Okay, so I just add one for now. Fine, I'll just start with one. Perfect, next. All right, so here's the code. Um, let's see, copy the code, settings, advanced code, and header. The thing is, what I know with Squarespace now is I could go to settings. Let's just see what they say. I'm gonna try to connect these, um, language and region. I'm gonna try to connect this and see what happens. Because it's telling me to put the code in, but if I can connect it via the API is already set up, I should be good to go. It knows I'm logged in, so refresh that, cool and then copy this code, and then basically go back. I just need to go to code injection, advance, code injection, add in this code. I'm gonna go language and regions, I'm gonna connect. I'll say, are you sure? It should know that I'm logged in. I don't, I don't understand why it wouldn't, but it seems to not be doing that. So let's see, I already have an account, sign in. Cool, got that all set up, yes. You can select an existing, perfect, save, complete. Your site is now bilingual, let's go. All right, there we go, look at that. Okay, so I could remove that code I just put in there um, because I don't need that. So let's go code injection, yeah, and remove that. Because I just don't need that extra little bit there because it's already writing it into the API. Now, what I wanna do is see if I have any design controls on this, cause this is a lot to put in my header. Um, so go here, let's see, elements. I love that it turned it on automatically. I just, could I just do the flag, please remove the text. 
text is too much, icon in text is way too much, flag in text. And the thing is, it's not British English, it's just English. Customized flag, there we go. There we go, so I could do United States, perfect. Yeah, I'm just gonna do icon and text. Icon size 20, that's fine. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna try custom code in a sec to see if I could remove, because it looks like that's its own box. Perfect, cool. So this is the process of like going through this. I'm gonna, I may try to move that menu over. The other thing I just wanna do now is, is change one thing on these elements. I'm gonna go back to flag. Yes, beautiful, love it, cool. So that's good to go. What I'm gonna do here is, this is done, I'm just gonna hit refresh because I think it should know it's set up now. Please just know we're set up. Wow, let's go. Yay, site is German. Nice. SEO starter packet, my starter kit. I have no idea what any of this says, but tight, let's go. Cool. Um, I just wanna go done and go to another page. Can we do that? Don't know why I'm stuck here. There we go. Current word usage, thousand. <laughs> okay. Um, manually reviewed words. Okay, manage plan. Okay, so what I wanna do is, I have 200,000 words on my website. If I translate all of it, I'd be paying $200 a month. Maybe in the future that'll be worth it. If more people see my site, they're buying products, they're getting a lot of value from it, awesome. But right now, not necessarily worth it. So what I'm gonna do, is as you can see here, here's all the pricing. Like it'll cost me a lot. Um, if I translate 200,000 words, see that they want me to do 200,000 words, uh, which 500 a year actually isn't crazy, but it's also not necessary because I don't need every page translated. So I do know they have a feature, translation exclusions. This is really important. Um, I wanna figure this out and then see how I can do this because um, there's probably a lot of pages I just wanna exclude. I just wanna focus in on the main blogging content uh, and even then maybe specific blog posts more than anything. Let's see Squarespace settings, dynamic elements. We might not translate some parts of your website that are dynamic and that we don't detect by default with this option. You can, okay, I don't know what that is right now, so I'm okay. Um, excluded blocks, oh, exclude URLs. This is cool. I have no idea how to write this, fam. <laughs> okay, so I want to find out how to do this. Every exclude everything except the language pay like landing page. Tips for the exclude URLs with regular expression. Ah, with okay, excludes everything except a specific page using its relative URL. Cool. I think if I understand this, it's gonna be this. So add rule. And then what it's gonna be is, it's gonna be, this is gonna be guides. Wait, so what, what is this again? What is this again? All right. What I copied was this one, yes. Exclude everything except a few specific pages. Cool, so let's go back here. So for sure, the blog, let's go back to English and let's do services. I don't know, exclude everything except everything that begins with. That's what I need. But how do I do multiple? I think I, I think I know, but I could be totally wrong. So let's do this again. Wait, so I'm gonna do space, space, do that. Okay, I think I need that. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but we'll see. Cool, let's just start there. Okay, excludes only for an error has occurred. Forward slash guides. Okay, let's just try again with this and then do guides. An error has occurred again. 
Yeah. Okay. So this is what I got to figure out. Um, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, so I've been doing this for like 20 minutes now and that's not a long time, but I also don't like wasting my time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to email uh, the team and say, I want this, 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 anything that begins with these translated um, specifically. And then I do want to eliminate some blog posts. How do I do that? So I could figure it out with them. Let's see. Uh, edit, exclude, excluded URLs. Yeah, there's just a lot of pages. Let's see. Let's just say home. Yeah, could I do more? Yeah, it's not gonna, it's just one at a time. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna email the team. Let me just do that right now, actually, so I could show you exactly how I write this. How to exclude. Yeah, I did this already, I'm gonna do ask, cool. David, exclusion, help, perfect. Okay, describe what I need. Hi, I want to. Cool. All right, so this is my email. I'm basically saying, hey, I wanna exclude everything from my site except everything that starts with guides, services, resources. My, on my site, all my blog posts, all my services, um, resources. I'll actually add the SEO packages, which I believe is, yep, there we go. Perfect, cool. And then in the future, I may want to exclude a few guide, uh, few guide posts. Cool. What is the best way I can do this? And perfect. Can you show me how to add? Perfect. Cool. Send message. Cool. They're on it. They'll get back to me. I'm going to go here, exit, close that, and then we're good to go. Now let's go general. We have English or we have that language switcher. Translation, what about translations? There we go. Yeah, what other language do we want? Okay, so just like that, I could add a language, which again is just so cool. I'm gonna do French because make public, display automatic translations, add language. You can't add because you've reached your plan limit. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably going around here somewhere. Yeah, that's probably what I want. $200 around there is ideal. Yeah, I would probably be around here somewhere, but I'm just gonna wait because I'm in my 10 day trial period. So I'll just get the best of the trial period and go from there. And cool, we're good to go. Now, let's just go back to Squarespace and see what our options are in here um, for the pages. So let's go to settings and then we'll go to, is it extensions? We'll go to extensions and we'll look for connected and we'll see we have the WeGlo extension. So let's click into this details. Perfect. Okay. Localize your website. Cool. Nothing to do here. All right. That's fine. I'm not mad at it. Product reviews, delighted, automated customer feedback service. Cool. We are good to go. Um, not mad at it at all. That's it for language. We've added it to the menu. We're good to go. Now let me see how it looks on mobile. Perfect, it's down here. Probably shows up a little higher with all this, but yeah, that's fine. That's perfect, all good. Love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, and so that's how you translate a site. I know if I click this now, it's gonna actually translate it to uh, German. So it would actually add it. It looks like that's how it's doing it because current word count, it's only translated a thousand. The one thing I do wanna find out more about is gonna be, so these are translation requests, which is really cool. Uh, on what pages are actually being translated. Let's see what's here, that's it. Um, languages, URLs, visual editor, glossary, URL slugs. What I'm gonna be really interested in is the SEO side of it. 
So I'm gonna pay more attention to that over time. Might make another video on it, but we should be good to go. And just like that, it, this whole video is 30 minutes because I'm kind of trying to learn what I could teach you as well. But at the end of the video, this whole video might be 10, 15 minutes. This is how you translate a site with Squarespace with WeGlow. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, I'll send, I'll do new videos in the future about how the process went, all of that. But thank you for watching. Friends, if you got value from today's video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it tells me that you got value from today's content. It tells the YouTube algorithm some fancy, important, critical information, but it tells me you got value from today's content. Next, if you want more resources for your site on Squarespace, anything from SEO to blogging, check out the links below. We have so many resources on our website and we're publishing new resources each and every month. So we have plugins, we have downloadables, we have free downloadables, we have blog posts, we have a ton of content, we have a ton of services, a ton of great things for you. Finally, if you want more content just like this, consider subscribing. We publish three new videos a week. My mind is blown that we're publishing three videos a week. It is a lot of content, but we're doing it for you. So three videos a week. If you want more, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.